and welcome to Vlogmas Day 23. Today is Christmas Eve Eve and so I cannot believe that tomorrow is Christmas Eve and then the next day is Christmas already. I've enjoyed doing this Vlogmas and we made so many memories during the Vlogmas. Really enjoyed it and probably will continue the Vlogmas throughout each day of December even after Christmas. So I'm currently editing my vlog for Vlogmas Days, uh, I think 20 and 21 or 21 and 22, I think. And it's the ravioli making and all the pasta. So I'm currently doing that now and enjoyed my little pineapple smoothie that I made this morning. And then currently burning in my cereal milk, Fruit Loops candle. So my candle was tunneling. So I saw online that if you put like this um foil around it it will help the tunneling so we're gonna see if it helps it i hope it does the candle is starting to look so much better this is really working i had such a small hole in the middle before and it's really spreading out the wax so it still needs to go probably for a couple more hours. There's still wax that has been melted on the sides, but this hack is amazing. What the candle now looks like, it's still tunneling, but not as bad as it was. I just have just a small circle in the center. So I'm gonna be trying this hack sometimes in the future and just letting it sit for longer. I'm having some broccoli while I edit my- I'm making my homemade pizza. Nanny said it kind of looked like a Christmas tree from this angle, and it kind of does. How pretty the sky is. Right now, it is a little bit later, and it's dark out. And I really want to make these Italian drop cookies. I haven't had them in such a long time. Going to be making those. Still have a lot of things on our to-do list today. Got to clean up and do all those extra things before Christmas Eve tomorrow. So let's get started. First, I'm going to be creaming together one stick of butter and a half cup of sugar. Now that we have the sugar and butter well combined, we're going to be adding in our eggs one at a time. Once the eggs are mixed in, we're going to have one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm currently using this um, oil here. So now for my flour mixture, I have two cups of flour, three teaspoons of baking powder, and eighth teaspoon of salt. I'm slowly going to be mixing this into my mixture. Okay, so now I'm going to be folding this in and these cookies almost kind of remind me of making the Pizzelle cookies yesterday. So if you haven't watched that vlog, I made over a hundred raviolis and over 50 Pizzelles. So make sure to watch that if you haven't already. I'm going to be chilling in an hour in the fridge before I bake it. So once the dough has chilled, I'm going to be taking my small little cookie scoop here and placing them on the baking sheet and baking them for about 12 to 15 minutes. Okay, so one big tray made about 20 cookies and these cookies don't really spread so you can put them closer together. But while you are waiting for the cookies to bake, I am making the frosting. So I have one cup of powdered sugar, a half a teaspoon of lemon extract, and about four teaspoons of milk. And then this is an optional step. You can add some fresh lemon zest. So I have the zest of about half lemon. I'm just gonna be going to be mixing this in. This is what you want the texture to look like. It's not too runny and it's not too thick. So this is the perfect texture. So the cookies are done. I did a little experiment and for these three rows, I just scooped them. And then for this last row, I um, scooped them and then rolled them up in my hands. And that was much better. It has a smoother top. And then I love using these baking sheets. Look at the bottoms of the cookies. Look how crisp they are. So I'm going to be putting these on a rack now and letting them cool. And then we're going to frost them. The second and final batch is going into the oven. This one made 17 and the other one made 20, so that's a total of 37 cookies. So while our second batch is in the oven, I'm going to be frosting these. So I'm just going to be dipping them in the frosting and then placing on the wire sheet. 
and just repeating this process. Okay, so frosted all the cookies here. And for some of them, I just put sprinkles just to give it that nice look. Some people in the family don't like the taste of sprinkles. So I only just did a few with sprinkles on there just for the looks. And I'm so happy with how these turned out. So I'm going to do a little taste test of the cookie. So pretty with the sprinkles. Let's give it a try. And look how the bottom is. Let's give it a try. Mmm, so good. The cookie is so light and airy on the inside. Like, look at it. It's almost like a cake. Almost looks like a cakey consistency, but not quite like it. And look how crispy the bottom is. It's really like a best in both worlds. The lemon flavoring is amazing. I just think the sprinkles had such a fun right little time. Right now it is a little bit later, and I'm going to be doing my nails for Christmas. I'm going to be using this OPI like glitter nail polish. I think it will be perfect for Christmas since it's just so sparkly. And I'm going to be doing that now. Here are my nails. They turned out so nice. And I love the glitter. Peanut butter fudge. And she already made chocolate fudge. Got a lot of baked goods today. Here we just need to cut the peanut butter fudge. And the chocolate fudge is in the fridge now too, all cut up and ready to go for tomorrow. I have my retainers in and I'm about to be going to bed now. So right now I just got done editing the Vlogmas Day for 23 today. And I'm going to be heading off to bed now. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 24, which is Christmas Eve. Yay!